Okay, we're about ready to go. Uh, we're loaded, we're scaled, we're legal. Now it's time to punch in where we're going. We're going to 6510 Tradewater Parkway Southwest, Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see how far that is from here. Come on. Calculating fastest route. It is 714 miles. the CRST truck that's the first company I ever drove for which only lasted eight months Today is Friday, May 10, 2013. Right Lake Road. And then Push them upside the head. Grass the throat. Friday, May 10, 2013. I don't know why people get excited with Fridays. Well, turn right on Lake George Road and then take the entrance to the right in 750 feet. Not to truck drivers anyway. That's one of the shocking things that you young folks, young drivers, well, not age-wise, but new drivers, That'll be one of the shocking things you guys take the entrance to the right on I-69 so I'll be the shocking news for you young drivers out here. There is no such thing as a Friday. Yay! It's a Friday. Cause almost every day is the same. In truck driving world. It's not like we can go bar hopping on a Friday and that don't work. Well, once again, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Is he gonna let me in? Is he gonna let me in? Is he gonna let me in? Really? Come on. Come on, big truck. There you go. Thank you, beast.
one hour and nine minutes left to drive. Then I got to shut down for 10 hours. Actually, I got to shut down till midnight. Because I only have 11 hours starting at midnight. So I better find me a good place to hang out for what is it? 12 hours and 15 minutes. Atlanta, Georgia. By the way, here's a here's a plan. I came out of Byron Center, Michigan. Delivered that load from Virginia. And then I deadheaded all the way to Quincy, Michigan, which is about which was about 109 miles. And then from Quincy, Michigan, I drop and hook. That means I dropped my empty trailer and hooked up to a preloaded trailer. I have 41,000 pounds of some kind of a meat product, Conagra. I think it's some kind of a sausage, pork sausage patties. And this delivers to Conagra in Atlanta, Georgia, which is, uh, I think it was about 760 miles. Right now we're only 711 miles. There you go, 711. And here's what happens. I can only drive about 60 more miles right now. So that means I will have, that means I will have about 750 miles to drive for tomorrow. But here's the catch. This truck in an 11 hour period can only run about 700, no, 630, 640 miles. So what's going to happen is I won't be able to reach all the way to my final destination. I'll be about 25 miles short and I'll have to hang out somewhere else and deliver it on Sunday. It would have been better, let's see if I had two hours today. That way I could have driven at least a hundred more miles, leaving me a hundred and, no, 610 miles for tomorrow. But no such luck. It is what it is. What else is there? One of the things that I've been thinking about was uh, I'll do a proper pre-trip and maintenance on the truck, a proper hook and unhook, and I'll even attempt to show you how we slide 
the tandems on the trailer, you see we can slide those tandems forward and backward uh, to, to redistribute the weight evenly. It's just like a seesaw. If you put all the, if you put the tires in the middle of the trailer, you're putting all the weight of the trailer onto the tire. But if you gradually move the tandems to the rear of the trailer, you're shifting the weight from the tandems uh, forward. Let's just say if we're overweight on the trailer tandems, then we need to slide the tandems backward towards the rear of the trailer to lessen the weight of the trailer tires or trailer tandems. Uh, also, if we are overweight on the truck and we have enough uh, weight, not enough weight on the trailer tandems, then we'll slide it to the front. As I said, it's just like a seesaw. I, it will it will be uh, easier if I show you these things sometime this week. Hopefully I'll get off my lazy butt and do a little demonstration. Oh, there we are. Angola, Indiana, LaGrange, Indiana. So anyhow, I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching.